Do you want to get revenge? Hey everyone, Bill Markham here with another Two Minute Tuesday. And this week we just started a new series entitled Wounded. What do you do when you've been hurt? And I know the natural response is retaliate, get back at them, take revenge. I love Liam Neeson movies because in that, someone who's innocent gets hurt and he sticks it to the enemy, right? He takes back what was rightfully his in the first place. And I'm, if I'm honest with you, in my mind, I always want revenge. But I've learned as God changes my heart that that's not the best answer. And so when it comes to being hurt, we can take revenge, we can retaliate, but like Gandhi said, an eye for an eye just makes the whole world blind. And so the Bible says, do not take revenge, but leave room for God's wrath. What that means is God is as passionate about injustice as you are and he'll take care of it. You can let it go. But we also sometimes want to retreat. If, if we're not the revenge type of personality, maybe we just want to pull our arms and head into our shell and hope the world goes by. But that doesn't resolve the issue. It's like damming up a lake. If there's no water coming in or out, the water becomes stagnant and so does our heart. So the Bible encourages us to do something else, to resolve it. The Bible says, do not become overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. It's this idea that when people hurt you, it's because they're hurt themselves. And what they're trying to do is dump onto you their own insecurities, their own expectations because of the baggage they carry. And so they'll carry these things and they'll try to put them in your bag, your life, your possibility, your potential. And we learned this week, you don't have to take their stuff, that you're not a victim that you're actually in control. And you can say, no, I reject that. That isn't true. And we also learned that you can respond instead with love. As hard as that is, what it means is seeing people the way God sees them. As a bunch of hurt people carrying a lot of baggage who are just too heavy burdened to do anything about it. And so we can help by lifting them up. So may you learn what it means to not be overcome by evil, but to overcome evil with good.